Hey friends, it's Miss Lindsay. I'm out here in my garden on this beautiful sunny day. I want to do a fun experiment with you guys. Do you want to see? Come on in. So, today we're going to be making some bean sprouts. Right now they just look like seeds, but they will soon grow into big bean vegetable plants. The supplies you're going to need are a quart size Ziploc baggie, a paper towel, a little bit of water, and you can use some beans from your kitchen, or you could use beans that you find in a little bean, uh, little seed packet. All right, let's begin. Find a good seed to use. I'm actually gonna try to put both seeds, both types of seeds I have in here and see what happens. Hopefully the roots don't get too big. All right, so you have your paper towel. You're gonna fold it into a rectangle shape after you pick out your seeds and you're gonna get your paper towel nice and damp. Not dripping, dripping wet, but wet enough for it to hold some good moisture so our seed can sprout roots. All right. Now we're gonna put this paper towel in the shape of a rectangle with its four sides inside of our Ziploc baggie all the way at the bottom. This paper towel is gonna to help water the plant and it's gonna give the roots something to grab onto when the bean sprouts, when the seed sprouts. Alrighty. So here we are, our two seeds. We're gonna put them on each side towards the top of our paper towel. Some people like to fold the seeds into the paper towel, but I love to see the roots when they sprout. That way you can look straight through your bag and watch it all grow. Zip up your bag nice and tight. And you're gonna find somewhere in your house to go ahead and lay it on a flat surface so it gets sun every day. And if you notice, already sitting in this warm sun, they're starting to get condensation all over this bag and it's starting to heat up like a little greenhouse for our seed. It's pretty cool. If you wanna take a closer look in, I'll show you some things we have in my garden. This is something that we got from the grocery store a while ago, and I decided to use the table scraps to keep plants, to keep growing something. It's romaine lettuce to make a salad. This summer, when I get it in some soil to grow nice and large to, to make a delicious salad. We also have some of this, which I love. Can you tell by looking at this plant what it might be? What type of vegetable? It's very leafy, and it's gonna eventually have long stalks. It's celery. And look at the roots growing there at the bottom. This guy is ready to get planted in the ground. I have all kinds of plants inside and outside of my house. Plants are pretty cool. This is called a spider plant, but it doesn't, doesn't walk around like a real spider. See the roots growing? We also have some beans over here, just like the ones we planted in our bags today. If you take a look, I planted these ones a while ago, so they're growing, but they will get very, very tall and have a lot of beans on them. Also in our garden, we have strawberries, melon, cucumbers, some yellow squash over there. Here's one of the watermelons. See this black part? That's a seed. Every plant grows from some kind of seed. It grows from the seed all the way up the stem to the leaves and flower, and down below are the good things that grab all the nutrition, the roots. They spread out like crazy little fingers. Pretty cool, right? Well, I can't wait to make seed bags for all of my friends at Seek School, and I can't wait to show you guys all of these wonderful things out here as they grow over time. Thanks for coming and sharing some time with me. Bye.